Mila and Lena's way. Hey guys, what's up? It's Mila and I'm back with another review of Pretty Little Liars. Um, I don't have my jacket on with me right now because I can't, don't have it right now. But yeah, we'll just forget about the jacket y'all can just see my skinny arms. So the fact that Yvonne died actually really messed me up because I didn't think that she was going to die. Well, I knew she was going to die, but I thought that AD was going to come and kill her, but she literally died. So now I don't know if AD is the one who caused the crash, or I don't know who caused the crash, what caused the crash, or how it caused the crash. But Toby is pretty torn up about it, basically because that was his wife and now he's a widower. Like, did he know she was going to die? I don't know. Maybe he, I, I don't know. I feel like he kind of knew he, she was going to die because that's why he married her. I don't know. Why did Toby is behind this? Because that was weird. Why would you marry? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of confusing. But he was really torn up about it. Spencer was like, you know, consoling him because that ending was really sad when he fell down. Because they was talking about how they was in the, you know, where was she? was like, I want to go to Moscow. And he was like, well, yeah, we can go there for Christmas. We can't go there for our honeymoon. Like, I want to go somewhere else. So then she was, he was like, are you happy? And she was like, I'm the happiest. And then she dropped her flowers. And then she died. And it was really, really sad. And it was just like, Toby, I don't know what to tell you. And it was just like, I didn't know what to tell her, Toby, at the moment. So Spencer heard, Spencer had the little phone, the little game phone, which I don't know why they playing, still playing it, why they just turn into police. But they had the phone, and it was like a baby crying, so they did not know what to do with it. And it ended up stopped crying, and then it said that it was Hannah's turn to go and play the game. Allison was out of town this whole time. She was going to do some type of paperwork. I don't know what she was out of town for. They didn't say last week's episode, but Emily knows to me she's out of town because of a baby. I don't know, but... She's out of town. So, Emily was like, you know, isn't Caleb going to hear the phone? So, she was like, no, Caleb's not going to hear the phone at all. It's going to be okay. And he came and he was like, oh my God, like you in a newspaper. But then, Emily looked online and saw somebody wrote a blog about how Hannah stole those designs. And it came from an anonymous tipster. So, they're like, okay, well, that had to be Jenna that did that. So, they had to find out who did it. So they went around the front and said it's like they're going to find Sydney. So they're going to try to find and snip out this Sydney, look at her phone and this and that. Meanwhile, Nicole was on TV saying how Ezra was there for her and how he's helping her get through things, how she's feeling better, which is really good because she didn't die, which is really good. And at first I thought, I was like, wait, they're just going to kill off Nicole. But they didn't, so she's not dead. So, yeah. But anyway, Ari was like, you know what? Me and Ezra are going to get back together. It's going to be okay. It's going to be Peachy King. Everything's not going to be Peachy King. Because I don't know where the heck Ezra is. Why is Nicole showing up at their place in the dark? And Ari's about to kill her, literally. And why is she even showing up there? But besides that, they went to go track down Sydney, her and Emily. So her and Emily did go track her down. They like got into her phone and stuff. She claimed that she was done with Jenna. But then she went and paid off Jenna's eye surgery debt for her. But she did it for a client because she's a bank teller, whatever. But she, they, they end up going to go follow her. Emily's going to go follow her by herself, which is stupid. I don't like when they split up. It's like, why are you splitting up? But then when they get together, it's kind of bad too because they end up splitting up. But they, they, that's like they didn't learn after five years. But other than that, Spencer went to talk to Dr. Mark O'Fury. Not doctor, detective. And he was like, you know, you know, it's going to be okay. I couldn't find your mom. But she's like, you know what? It's fine. She don't want to find it right now. So he went to go take her to play ping pong, which is really nice. And he was like, you know what? I'm going to get my mind up this. We can volunteer, this and that. Um, I got really good at summer camp. And he's like, yeah, I got really good here. Because he used to play at that recreation center a lot, a, lot, a lot of times when he was younger. Because he knew the woman that worked there. She was really nice to him when he was a kid. And his mom wasn't really around because she was addicted to painkillers. So it was like he... He loved, like, the woman that was there was, like, his mom, not, like, his mom at home, but his mom is clean now, and they, like, talk once a month, and that's good enough for them, but she had passed away from the recreational center, so he had made her, like, a little drawing, and, like, Spencer saw, so she's like, is she dead? He's like, yeah, Gloria died, but my mom still is alive, so she was like, you know what? The world don't revolve around me. I'm just not realizing that. And I guess they don't really realize that. It don't really revolve around them, but Marco was kind of shady. Her shoulder was bleeding, so I'm like, okay, why is her shoulder just bleeding? out of nowhere like that's really weird and but he cleaned it up for and helped her out hannah got a thing at her door the first they started banging at the door she didn't even answer it said answer the door caleb came was like who's banging at my door like who are you and i didn't know emily was standing with them but he was banging at the door it, the thing was banging at the door and it was like he was like that's you hannah it wasn't hannah it was a doll it was like a little a doll saying it, they talked it was like to pull at the appendix you know go look at the appendix so I thought that they was going to go look on the body because Caleb's already looking at the body. But then they went and was looking all around other places. I'm like, 
it said the appendix is a doll like why didn't they just see that on their stomach but whatever anyway she was looking through everything Caleb went to go look at the game board and go and snoop around but he could not get in he couldn't hack it he couldn't do none of that none of it so she went and she started it meant the actual appendix so when she went inside she cut it open blood splattered out I don't know whose blood that was we're gonna find out probably later because it's in the apartment it splattered out and it said wear this it was a bag and it was like some type of uh clothing for like Japanese clothing so she was like she could not wear it because the investors that Lucas had come in they was going to be offended because they from Japan and her wearing that would be offensive so she's like look either way I'm probably going to bomb this thing with the investors but hopefully Lucas can still be our friend so Caleb's like look you know what he Caleb really didn't know what to do he's like mm, if you don't play the game you're going to go to jail so like mm, it's still a really lose lose situation for you honestly so what happened was Sydney I was the one that I think released it that the dread the designs were stolen because she was at the same place that the senator's daughter was at so somebody had to tell somebody and it had to be Sydney so when she went to go do her thing with the investors Lucas was there everything was all cool and peachy keen until Kayla was at Spencer's place and Spencer was like you know hey what's up and he was like oh you know no we don't want to make this weird and she's like yeah we're not gonna make it weird it's gonna be okay so when they did that he opened it he was like pressing up under the thing and gas shot out he just couldn't breathe like he was all swollen up he couldn't breathe so Spencer didn't know what happened so when he went to the hospital Hannah got a call so then Lucas was like well I'll handle it I'll handle out everything so she went there so now she like she didn't play her turn she didn't get her prize so when they was at the hospital at that same time that's when Yvonne passed away and they didn't know until Spencer later was like I'm gonna go check out Toby Yvonne and that's when she found out but Caleb didn't even tell him what happened he just said that he mixed bleach and this with fumes and he knocked himself out so no test screens no nothing but I don't know his eyes was red so I, I'm getting the feeling that he's gonna lose his eyesight and Jenna's gonna gain hers or something that's when I'm getting the feeling like he's gonna lose his eyesight or something and then then now to be like Jenna is gonna get hers with her surgery that's what I kind of thought that they was gonna do in that sense but did anybody see how Arya was trying to fight that girl like she was trying to fight Sydney she's gonna be sitting right there but Emily did not want her to do that and I don't know why Emily is going to go watch her by herself in the dark like what and then Nicole is in Arya's place or Ezra's place and then Arya gotta handle Ezra's business because he's not handling it because the freaking girl at the Sabrina she quit her job because she found another bakery and she's like how are you gonna find another bakery when your boss is out of town but she is gonna handle that and she's gonna handle Nicole I don't know where Ezra is maybe Ezra never went to go see Nicole maybe Ezra's somewhere hiding drinking I don't know I don't know what's wrong with him I don't know anything no more it was really sad when Yvonne died and I'm just like bruh and then at the end somebody was opening a package and Marco got sent a finger and he's like give me Evan's bag give me forensics because we got a finger here and I think it's probably a finger from Rollins and from his grave is either from Rollins or it's from Mary I don't know who else or is it from Noel it can be from anybody but I'm pretty sure it's from Rollins just to confirm that Rollins is dead so they're gonna probably say that Allison might have did it because why was Allison out of town you know they're gonna probably gonna question her and stuff like that so I'm trying to see where the heck Allison went but that was this episode guys thanks for watching uh i don't know this episode was good to me it was really sad that when yvonne died because it was like i already knew i think she already knew and i already knew that she's gonna die and toby kind of already knew but i probably should have told toby before she died so he could have prepared but he was not prepared and so yvonne died i'm assuming she's dead i'm assuming she's dead yeah she has to be dead because the way toby came out was like she died but she passed away and they just killed off Kara Royce's player and I'm just like what the heck so now I'm wondering did AD have something to do with this or was it just a car crash that happened and wasn't Yvonne pregnant at the time wasn't I can't remember if Yvonne was pregnant with Toby's kid but if not then I don't know what AD did this for I don't know what AD did that for so I don't know and Spencer's probably gonna reconcile with Toby and I don't know what Toby's gonna do I thought Toby was gonna kill himself when he found out that Yvonne died but he didn't so good gratefully thank god because I don't know what Toby's gonna do without Yvonne because he never got to finish their house she got a little snippy about that at the end but he never finished their house and she never got to go on her honeymoon and if he would have just finished the house 
and who does dad spends his business and if AD did do this to me if I'm gonna be that so he's probably gonna just beat us up about that so we're gonna have to find AD and these episodes aren't really leading me to no conclusions like they told me to and we're gonna end the, ep the episodes are gonna end in like some weeks so I'm like I'm gonna need some more conclusions but anyway guys thanks for watching for the like share subscribe comment see you guys next time bye